I've gotten a lot of questions about what I'm doing here in Afghanistan. I'm a DOD contractor, and your president is right. There's a lot of jobs for enlisted veterans, except those jobs are in war zones. There are basically the same types of jobs as contractors as there are in the military. So if you're an engineer or you worked on planes or um, your security forces or intelligence or food services, there is a job here in a war zone for you. If you want to get a job as a contractor, it's pretty simple. You just put your resume and your DD-214 on one of the websites like Clearance Jobs, USA Jobs, or even LinkedIn, and these companies will find you. You have to have a secret or a top secret clearance. It has to be active or pending. I don't know about top secret, but secret clearances generally last about 10 years and it's a matter of them switching it on or off. So if you have a clearance or you just got out of the military with a secret clearance, you're probably, uh, probably good to start looking for a job. There's some pluses to being here. There's free food, free housing, free electricity. Uh, we have lakes, we have a gym that's free, laundry's free. We have two coffee shops. There's a place called Coffee Time and then there's the Green Bean. The lids suck at coffee time, so I go to the green bean. The coffee's about the same. Minuses, you have to use porta potties. You have to get real comfortable using porta potties, girls and boys. Uh, incoming rockets, incoming mortars, those suck. Outgoing missiles, outgoing rockets. Sleeping, you will not sleep very well, and it's really hard to get to sleep. Sleeping is a minus. You know, it's the little things that are a minus to me, like you can't have a real beer. I mean, they have like near beer. It's just not beer. Really want just a big mug of beer sometimes, especially after a hard day of work. Pizza, New York style pizza with cheese grease just dripping everywhere. I dream of this stuff if I get to sleep. What I'm doing specifically, I want to keep that kind of close to the hip. I'll maybe talk about it when I'm nice and safe back in America, but I'm not here, so I don't want to give away too much. Good fits for this job are infantry, army, and marines, uh, special forces, security forces. They all get jobs here doing what I'm doing. The first step to getting a job uh, that is doing what I'm doing is you have to have an honorable discharge and then the rest of your DD-214 which is your exit papers from the military they have to line up so your medals your training if you've served in an imminent danger zone for extended periods of time that's all going to indicate on your DD-214 and your uh, VA records so if you are just a big storyteller you're not going to get through the door but if you do meet those criteria then you go to a place called CRC, which is in El Paso, Texas. You spend two weeks there. CRC is like a boot camp for geezers. You have to be physically fit, medically qualified, and then you have to qualify in, in instances like what I'm doing. You have to qualify in shooting guns. So it's the Army's gun course, which is um, pistol would be you have to you have pop-up targets and then I think they go from 10 meters to 50 meters and then rifle we used M4 and you have to go from again pop-up targets from 25 meters to 300 meters it's a lot more difficult than the Navy's qualification so you need to practice if you want to if you're from the Navy and you want to do what I'm doing after you've passed that course, then you fly out to your war zone, and then you have to requalify in guns that the military doesn't use. Uh, I think that my company doesn't use military guns is because these are cheap. They find them in ditches all over the place in Afghanistan, so you get to use these. I like this way better than M4. It's got a pretty nice kick, and I mean, you can't you can't ruin it basically. So. You don't have to clean it every time you shoot it either. It's pretty sweet. I know you're probably thinking, what's a quartermaster in the Navy doing in a 
in a war zone in the desert. Headshots only, Winslow. Okay. It's simple, really. I'm here to spread peace, to help instigate change, to teach people about liberty and freedom, and to help rebuild a once beautiful country. Let's make Afghanistan great again. I'm also here to save puppies. I'm not here for the money. I'm here for the experience. Um, I'm here for teamwork and camaraderie, which is awesome here. I've met some of the most amazing people that I've ever met right here. In fact, you know, we have Purple Hearts, we have, you know, war heroes. One of the guys that I work with, he's a ranger. He was one of the first boots on the ground in 2001. Jumped into this exact base and they took this base from the Taliban, this area from the Taliban. So, I mean, pretty cool guys that I'm around and it's hard to leave them, but I don't have any love for this place and I don't know. I'm, there's been a couple of close calls, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here. But uh, I love the I love the people here, and hey, that's pretty much everywhere, isn't it? I mean, it's hard to it's hard to leave a occupation if you're surrounded by great people. But I don't know. I'll stay here for a little bit longer, make some more videos about puppies, and then come home and tell you exactly what I did and. You know, if it's something you want to do, then become a contractor. Thank you for watching.